welcome and welcome back. So today we have something that I would call doll adjacent, something a little bit different for my channel because obviously mostly I do stuff involving dolls. But I was in Walmart with my friend the other day and I saw this and then I went back to Walmart with my fiance and he bought it because I couldn't stop staring at it. So this is what it is. It's like a little cottage from Honey Bee Acres. I've never heard of this. Obviously, like I said, I'm mostly involved in like the doll community online, so I'm sure this isn't a surprise to those of you who are involved in like the wider toy community, but I just thought it was so cute. So I have this little cottage and then also a kitchen set and then also a little baby. So needless to say, we went a little wild, but it was just, it looks so cute. It just looks so cute. So it's these little like play sets with these baby animal figurines and they just look really adorable. So. Now I have them and I'm very excited about them and I wanted to share them with you guys because I figure dolls are adjacent to like figurines or this could be considered very loosely a dollhouse. I don't know, I just figured maybe some of you guys would also be interested in this and also think that it is supremely adorable. So I figured I would go ahead and share it with you and kind of talk about the pieces that it comes with and how I'm feeling about it because in box it looks really good but we know the boxes can be deceiving. So I am going to go ahead and open all of these things off camera in just a second. I do want to show you. Obviously, here's the front. We have like little windows on the side. The back kind of shows you a bit more of the dollhouse that it offers. They are um, available, like I said, in Walmart stores, also on Walmart's website, and apparently they have their own website, hbatoys.com, that I just saw on the back of the box, so could be even more on there. Definitely gonna have to check that out later editing update, I went to hbatoys.com and it actually just redirects you to their YouTube channel. Apparently they're going to have an animated series, so that's all that was on there. And then the kitchen set shows again on the back kind of everything that it comes with. This is apparently, I don't know if it's meant to go with the Bubsy farmhouse, or if it's just saying that that's like another thing you can get. On the back of this one it highlights a general store that you can get. So there's like a lot that's available. Um, my Walmart only had this cottage left. They had a few different little sets like the kitchen and then several different little animals. I of course picked the cat because I'm crazy, but you can see on the back, hopefully it's focusing, all of the different ones that you can get in this little like figurine set. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I have finally got all of that unboxed. It was a bit of a process and oddly emotional. If you guys have been around here for a while, then you know that I am very much a crier and when things are cute, it makes my eyes water. And this is really cute. <laughs> so forgive me if I get like a little squeaky or a little pitchy or anything, but this is just really, really adorable and I'm very excited. So. We're gonna start with the cottage, the big boy. Um, obviously this is the inside. So I did clear everything out just so you can see. They did have like a cardboard flooring over this flooring as like packaging to kind of keep it in and keep all the stuff attached to it. I actually thought that originally that was gonna be the floor. So I was a little nervous about that because I was like, how am I not gonna rip this? But they do have plastic floor underneath that looks like hardwood, which I thought was really nice. We have a removable flower box that I put on the side here. And then the back of the house is just so stinking cute with all of like the sunflowers and the greenery and everything. I, I love houses like this. I hate when houses are so perfectly manicured and like the lawn is just flat and boring. Sorry if that's your house. Like I'm not trying to judge you or anything, but I think that it looks really cool when there's like a little bit of ivy growing in a house and it looks a little bit like it's kind of being reclaimed by the wild. That's just, I, I love that, I really adore that. So having kind of like the vines and the moss and everything growing on this house is very, very cute to me. On the side here, we have the outside of the fireplace and like the little chimney, very sweet. Up here in the top floor, there is like some wallpaper that I thought was really cute. Overall, just absolutely adorable. Very excited, the door works. So that's all off to a really good start. Then we have a little, whoop, like log of fire, obviously to put by the fireplace in here. And then the rest of the stuff that came in the living room was this chair, 
pretty basic. Most of the stuff is pretty basic, but it's just, I don't know, I just think it's really cute. We have, you're definitely not gonna be able to see this, so I'm really sorry. But a little cup and saucer for tea. A little end table to put it on. And then this rug, which I thought was actually very nice. It feels kind of like felt, like a stiff felt, I would say, is like the fabric. But I thought the print was really, really pretty. And it's just a nice detail that they have print to it. Because this was like pretty cheap. I think that the cottage was $25. I'll have to double check the prices on the other two items. I'll put them in the description. But it's relatively cheap compared to some other things that I've seen that are in like a similar vein. So I was really excited that they had like a printed rug. I just thought that was so sweet. And then for the upstairs room, we have toy box with functioning lid. And then we have a little teddy bear and a ball. And obviously you can store them in the toy box. Then the bed I thought was really, really nice. These are all fabric. This is like a little pillow that is actually stuffed, which is very sweet. We have the bed. There is a little honeybee carved into the headboard. And then the mattress actually comes out. And this is a separate blanket. So like, this is pretty thin material. Again, it's, it's cheap, but there's like foam inside the mattress. Like I said, the mattress detaches and it is actually fabric wrapped around it. It's not like a plastic mattress. So I just, I was very pleasantly surprised by that. I think that's all really, really sweet. And then obviously this set did also come with the little cat doll. I'm gonna show you both of the dolls that I have at the same time at the end here. So, gonna clear this away for a second and then move on to what came in the kitchen set. Okay, so the one thing that I will say about this is that it is very much a toy where they're trying to entice you to buy kind of the whole world that they've produced, where you can buy a set, but it might not be entirely complete until you get this set. Like for example, the kitchen didn't come with any little animal figurines, so if you just bought the kitchen, you wouldn't have any dolls to play with it in unless you have like another doll of a similar size that could fit in it. Um, and then also with the kitchen, it came with these adorable curtains. There's four of them in total. And they have little holes at the top where you can slide through a curtain rod. And in this little pack that I'm not opening, um, there's little rubber bands that you could use to kind of grip the curtain like that so that it appears like it's being pulled shut. But it doesn't come with curtain rods. So I don't know if that's something that another set comes with so it's like you're supposed to buy both of them and kind of combine them and I just bought the wrong ones or like if that's just an extra accessory that you can buy on their website I'm not really sure to be fair though as a mildly crafty person I am 100% sure that with some hot glue and some toothpicks I could make curtain rods that would work for this so you definitely could finagle it if you are crafty in the slightest into something that you can make by yourself. But if not, it is something where you have to buy an additional add-on to really make the entire set function. But that also is the only thing where that is like that. Like obviously the stove doesn't need anything else to act as a stove. So just like a minor negative that you kind of have to purchase multiples to really complete the experience. But I also feel like pretty much everything is like that at this point, so... Is it great? No. But is it unique? No. <laughs> anyway, here's the stove. Very, very cute. I love the, like, 3D detail on the top with the burners. The oven does open up. And then with this, this is what made me almost cry. One of the things that made me almost cry. There's a tiny tray of muffins that was in the oven in the packaging. And... All of the muffins actually come out so you could have an empty baking tray if you wanted to or you could have if you have like multiple of the little characters you could have them all eating muffins which I think it's just like it's just so precious because I feel like I would have anticipated seeing a muffin tray maybe with all of the muffins like molded into the tray so you could pretend that they were baking but that's it you know like you have to use extra imagination for them to eat it but I think that that is really, really cute. 
that it's like all separate little pieces, definitely a choking hazard. So this definitely isn't something for like very, very young children because they could swallow those. That's like the size of a pill. That's a little dangerous. But for slightly older kids, I think that that's really, really sweet. And obviously for me, just as an adult collector who likes small, cute things, it's a huge benefit. So love that. We got another rug. This one with a different print, different shape. Very, very cute again. We have a little teapot. And then various dishes, like a couple of plates, a couple of mugs. I'm trying not to like let them fall, but also show you. So we have all that. And then we also have a bigger like mixing, Ooh, that's exactly what I was afraid of. <laughs> a bigger mixing bowl like a little platter plate and a spoon. So presumably someone's been in here making muffins. I think that's so, so cute. Oh my God. We have a little sink with a marble top, not like actually marble, obviously, but it's painted to look like marble, which I think is very cute. And I was shocked by the number of doors that open on this sink. It's very cute. There's like a little drain molded into the sink. I'm not gonna cry today. Then we've got the fridge, adorable, adorable yellow fridge. We have a bottom door there and then kind of twin doors on the top. And the shelving in the middle, so cute. And then to go in the fridge, first of all, I actually have an extra muffin. So I don't know if that's because they're afraid that you're gonna lose one or just like for extra play purposes. I don't really know, but I thought that was cute. But in the fridge, you can put this little carton of eggs or these carrots. Ooh, it's so small, I'm like trying to get my hands around it to be able to show you. Or this little carton of milk. Or, this is a big one, this teensy tiny little ice tray. There we go. Little baby ice tray. That is so cute and it's clear plastic, which you guys know I'm a huge sucker for. But it's so cute. Like every, everything is just so tiny, which already really gets me. And I just feel like it's all really adorable. Like I can't be the only person who thinks that this is the sweetest thing ever. Then we have the actual doll. So starting with the bigger one. This is according to the box, Chloe living in her little cottage. So obviously you can see her arms can move. Her head doesn't swivel. So she is stuck looking forward, but her feet can also move. So you can lift up her feet and have her like sit down or you could have her standing up. She is felted, which is really cute and soft and pleasant. And she's got her little dress on. The dress is sewn like a little weird in the back. Um, I didn't cut it, I promise. But it just is like completely open <laughs> under the tail. Um, if you wanted to fix that, you could very easily with just like a needle and thread really quick sew that up a little bit so she's got a little more modesty. But I think that that's honestly really funny that they're giving her a dress and then her entire butt's out. But I do think she's really, really cute. I will say that the first time that I went to Walmart when I saw these with my friend, I didn't see the cottage that time. And that's the only one that I saw that had like an adult. They had a lot of little babies that you could get, like the other one that I have down here, like this little one. So it was really easy for me at least to find like the kids, but a little harder to find the parents to like complete the family, so to speak. Um, so yeah, I just like a thing to note, again, Walmart has them online and they do have like complete sets. So you can get them, but in stores it might be a little bit more difficult. But first of all, the little baby, Mimi, her name is Mimi, came with a stroller, which is just super cute. And obviously as it just felt like that, it does roll really, really smoothly, really well. And it is like a perfect height where if you take Chloe's hands and put them up, she can push the stroller. Oh! <laughs> little Mimi is also felted, has like a little diaper on. Very cute little faces. Her arms do move up just a little bit. Her legs don't move. And her head does swivel. So there's kind of like varied articulation on these. 
I'm not really sure why. Like, I, I don't know what the logic behind that is, but like, whatever. And she can sit in her stroller. It's like a little bit of a slippery slope just because the stroller is plastic. So she kind of slides down it if you're not careful. That's the only critique I would say with that is that she's not super secure, but it is really cute. Like, look at this, look at this. There's nothing negative I could say about that. That's so stinking cute. And she can just push her along. I just knocked her out. <laughs> I'm like actually actively emotional about this though, just because it's so precious. So yeah, guys, that was my like first foray into Honeybee Acres, which is now another thing that like I'm going to love and feel like I want more of. I already saw online that they have a Purrington family with two cat parents and two little cat children that I kind of want. Um, Y'all know me, anything with cats, that's, that's all I care about. I obviously only got the cats here. Like, why am I like this? I don't know, but I just, cats. So yeah, overall, very impressed by it. Very, very happy with this. I hope that this wasn't too much of like a different sort of content than my normal stuff. I know it's not really dolls necessarily but like I said I just thought it was really cute and I wanted to be able to share it with you guys so let me know down in the comments below if you already knew about Honeybee Acres if it's something that you have been enjoying or like if you're just discovering it just like me and think it's cute or I guess let me know if you don't like it but not to be rude you're wrong <laughs> anyway though guys I hope that this was a fun video for you it was definitely a fun video for me and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be and I'll catch you next week in the next video bye guys